creating the sort of like the distorted roofs on top of these building blocks in a sense and to proceed with that what we'll be using we'll be taking our curves obviously and let's create a, a discontinuity why i'm using discontinuity on this one because again we'll be using these points and moving them up but not on the same plane so the one some of them are going to go up some of them are going to go down and now let's graph this because now we want to handle things on each point on its own and the next thing that i'll be using i'll be using my attractor points right and maybe i can grab another point here to come to continue with what i'm having here as my beta highway okay and what i'll be doing here is create sort of a distance in between maybe another point you know just to make things tiny so if i grab the distance here we want to have the distance between this point and this point. and also i want to use this number here that i'm using as my um distortion kind of value right so i'll be copying this and pasting it here and i can copy and paste another number here and this value is going to help us to create sort of the motion as we did in the beginning as we did in this one right we just use this as our division so we can divide this or let's let's take a take a let's take a closer look how it works right now so if i if i just grab, grab a move vector uh, move sorry and if i grab a z vector you know what i'll be doing is if i use this as my distance and if i use my this as my points you see my points are going so high obviously the reason for this is i'm using again like many different vectors for many different distances right so i can grab the average of these distances or i can again use closest point i grab the distance here you see now what i'm having here is like i'm having kind of the they're going up and down but the problem with these distances is uh, they, they are, when they're closer they go down and they're higher they go up but i want something different than that so if i grab a division and if i use this and use this put it over here now they go super high so one thing to discover here maybe one thing we want to put here we can put a sort of a i don't know like a division or like let's have a multiplication value ranging between one and zero to change the effect of it a bit further you know now it's one you see that two, that they go super high so if i push it over here i decrease this a bit i mean it's it's still it's still too but it's gonna be a bit crazy but let's let's have it as such you know let's have it as such and let's see what we are having when we do so so we are having like three points all over the places we have uh sorry we have three points because we have three vectors here and what we can do again is to uh have the distance three 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 what we can do here is to grab the average of this one now we'll be taking the average of this in and if I again use trim tree and 
I grab a polyline, all the vertices, and if I preview the points off, yeah, but of course, like this, about this. And now what we are having here is kind of this uh, weird shapes. Of course, if I make this a bit higher, they go a bit up. But you see, the roofs are not planar. They're going up, which is a bit similar to what we are having here. Obviously, we'll be using sort of a, a uh, like a smoothing algorithms. But that's what we can say about the roofs. So let me group this and group this with a color that is like this. And that is pretty much it for this one. Uh, we created these guys. And in the next one, we'll take a look how we can convert those into a box or like a, like a solid geometry.